Hi, I'm Molly Wood, and welcome to The Buzz Report, the show about the tech news that everyone is talking about. This week, it's your music in the cloud, Sprint going to bat against Ma Bell, and my new house in Kansas City, Kansas. But first, it's the Gadget of the Week. Welcome to Ion Parenting. Today's topic, Potty Training 101. It can be stressful, frustrating, like it is for me right now, but when your child finally goes, it is extremely rewarding. Here with some tried and true tips is Kara Corden, health editor for Parents Magazine. Kara, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Now, I want you to know, I have a child right now who is like an untrained puppy, <laughs> and I need your help. <laughs> Report special report from Comic Con, and then of course, Comic Con is all about promoting movies. There's movies that are coming out, like Battlefield LA, Green Hornet kind of owns this show. Then there's movies that are just cool and geeky, like Transformers. You've got people getting in and out of pods for aliens because it's coming out on Blu ray. And there's this nice big booth for Tron featuring the light cycle, which I think I'm totally gonna steal because it looks hella fast. Can you turn that off real quick? If you buy this car, you're telling the world that you really do not care. Although, hey, thanks to the all-wheel drive, the terrain controls, and the hill descent control, you should have no problem handling the freak snowstorms that are ravaging your state. Hi, I'm Molly Wood from CNET.com. I am here on the set of CBS's new show, Chaos, with one of its stars, Eric Close. Because I have to admit, there's a little part of me that thinks this could be kind of realistic. Like, do you think that the no, CIA is actually feeling. somewhere yeah, that's in between? What, that's the irony of it. I think it is. I think it is a bit real. And you know, there's it's tough. You know, you got budgets. Everybody's cutting back. Everybody's taking pay freezes. And you know, it's uh, it's a little terrifying. Yeah. DHS. Our national secrets. Dome Tar does Vancouver. Well, this is a winner. I love I'll this take one. That. Yeah. What I think really is going to happen, what may come out of this long term, is that there's kind of a bad taste in people's mouths now about the initial response from Apple. You know, they're saying, there's a serious problem here. We can reproduce it. There's tons of video. And Apple's initial response was, pay $30 for that case or don't hold it that way. Or, and I think that that made people feel like, you know what, I don't know if I feel so good about Apple right now. I felt like a little, maybe he was uh, condescending. It'll be a mobile hotspot. So if you are being driven, you could sit back there on your laptop or if you're going on a road trip, everybody in the car can have wireless internet access, which is amazing. On top of that, it has a touch pad interface for entering navigation directions. It's got all of the safety features that'll warn you if you're leaving your lane, for example. It has adaptive cruise control so that if you're on cruise control and traffic in front of you stops, the car will automatically stop. And then later this year, it's going to integrate Google Maps so you could actually use the navigation system and then see Street View, you know, really bringing kind of the internet experience into the car. That car is the gold standard right now of technology. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds pretty amazing. I want to talk a little bit about evil. I often... <laughs> I often see you get asked about this notion yeah. that you can make money as a business without doing evil. And it seems possible that once you get to a certain size, you may always be evil to someone, or you may have set up what is an impossible standard. And I guess it, I was just wondering if you ever wish you hadn't put that in there. Uh, no, actually, we're very happy about the, the evil or the lack of evil comment. Um, uh, my own view on Google uh, and where, where we are now is that we are facing the kind of criticisms that you're, that you're referencing because we are a company that is a disruptor. 